Yo, what is up guys? So in this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to actually fly your drone. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is that you're gonna turn on the drone. So my power button is on the top over here. Yours might be different. So just check where your power button is and turn your drone on. So if I turn it on, the first thing is that the drone will turn on and it will start blinking like this. So what you're gonna need to do next is that you're gonna put the drone on a flat surface. So this is my remote control. Yours might be different, but they all function exactly the same. So you're gonna turn on your power button on your control side. This, then it will actually turn on. So the next thing you're gonna need to do is that you're gonna calibrate your remote to your drone. So you're gonna move the left joystick forward and backwards. Then now actually pair your remote control with your drone. So if I move my left joystick forward like this. You can see the drone is actually starting to rotate. All right, so that means we have, actually, we have successfully connected the drone to our remote. So what you're gonna need to do next is that you're gonna have to calibrate the drone on a level surface. So you're gonna click on this button down, down here. If I click on this button, you can see the drone is blinking, meaning it has successfully balanced itself on a level surface. All right, guys, so now what I want you guys to understand is that I want you guys to understand how the buttons and joysticks on the remote control actually functions or controls the drone. So if I move this button over here, the drone will actually start moving upwards. If I move the left joystick forward like this, the drone actually start moving upwards. And if I move the left joystick backwards like this, the drone actually start coming downwards. All right, so if I also move the left joystick to the left, the drone will actually start behaving like this, to start moving to the left like this, turning to the left. And then if I move the left joystick to the right like this, the drone will also start moving like this. You understand? All right, so let's come to the right joystick. Now with the right joystick, if I move it forward like this, the drone will actually start moving forward like this. And if I move it backward, they don't actually start coming backward like this. And if I move it sideways, they don't actually start moving to the left. And if I move it like this, they don't start going the other way. All right, so that's the function of the right joystick. All right, and you see the left side of the remote control. If I press on this upwards button over here, this upwards button, they don't automatically fly itself upwards and if i press on the down button the, the arrow pointing down over here they don't actually land itself automatically all right so what these other buttons over here does is that they are used to fine tune your the movement of your drone that's what the other fans the other buttons does understand all right so when you look at the top over here you can see we have high high and low now what this high and low does is that if you want the drone to actually move faster you press on this button then you don't actually move faster especially when you are in a windy environment and if you are in a calm environment like the way i am you want to put it at low so that you don't know, move too fast so that's basically how the fun the function of the mode does and then with the 360 button over here when you click on it it will start beeping so if it, when it start beeping and you move it like this they don't actually do a, a 360 flip you are demonstrating so that you guys will see so let's dive right into it 